Hi there. Sorry to um, barge into your space, but is it okay if I talk to you for a moment? Good. Well, thank you for allowing me to do so. Um, I'm just going to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Amy, and I'm a doctor from Break Bill's School of Magic. You're familiar? You went there. Wonderful. Well, as I said, I am a doctor there, and I, uh, my discipline is in magical curses. And your family had mentioned to me that they think you may have been cursed, and they wanted me to take a look at you, if that's okay. Mm, yes, they did mention that you don't think that you're cursed. That's okay. Is it all right if I do some tests and ask you a few questions to make sure if you are cursed or not? If not, you know, there's nothing, nothing bad about that. And if you are, I can remove your curse for you. Yeah, I mean, nothing to lose, right? Only something to gain. So, um, curses don't always present themselves in very overt ways. Um, we don't always, you know, shrivel up and die from curses, um, or, you know, a certain curse like we're cursed to not talk, or whichever the curse may be. Sometimes curses are more sinister in nature, and they are hard to see, um, Sometimes they are hard to detect because we believe that they may not be cursed because they uh, have a slow onset. It's not always very quick to present itself. So, uh, you have not been feeling very well lately. Well, you know, <laughs> we don't always, when we think of feeling sick, you know, we think of runny noses, or a sore throat, or, you know, a stomach ache. But there are other ways that we can be sick, um, or uh, not feeling well. Sometimes we don't feel very well in our head, and I don't mean a headache. I mean, maybe we aren't feeling too happy. And that's another form of, um, you know, being sick or not being well. Um, so, can you just let me know, how have you been feeling lately? And you can be as open as you want. You, you don't have to tell me everything. Just in general, how have you been feeling? Sad. I'm sorry. I apologize. Anxious. Worrying about things often. Okay. Do you have any feelings of discomfort? Are these anxious feelings presenting anywhere? Okay, it feels heavy on your chest. Okay, now is this um, at certain times of the day or is it all the time? I see, so tends to fluctuate, but it doesn't go away. Sometimes it's really bad, sometimes it's not so bad, but it's always there. I'm sorry. I know that can be very hard to deal with. Those constant feelings right here. Mm -hmm. So, you're having issues with feeling constantly anxious or worked up. No fun, huh? How long have you felt this way? Now, understand that these feelings, every once in a while, are completely normal. Everybody gets these feelings every once in a while. But how um, long has it felt intense? Um, and how long has it been uh, a constant feeling where it just there's nothing you can do to make it go away, sort of thing. Really? Oh my goodness. That 
that's not good. That's not good at all. <sighs> Having these feelings with no relief. Oh my goodness. You must be truly suffering. You poor thing. I'm gonna help you, okay? I, I'm gonna help you. So. Um, we have, your loved ones have noticed that you've been staying in a lot and that you haven't been interested in leaving the house or going on adventures and doing the things that you normally enjoy doing. Would you say yes? Okay. Okay. You're not feeling as adventurous. Mm hmm your sleep lately? How is your sleep schedule? Anything of note about your sleep habits? Okay. Restless. Waking up throughout the night. Is there any reason? Do you just wake up or maybe nightmares? Okay. You're having nightmares of past things that have happened in your past. Um, do you have trouble falling asleep, or is falling asleep natural, naturally easy for you? No? Okay. Lots of intrusive thoughts. I see. That is not a good sign, especially if it's constant. So, would you say that you're not getting a lot of sleep then? You sleep a lot. I see. So, you have issues with fatigue? Constant fatigue. Mm, that's not good. No, don't worry. I. It's easy to feel guilty about sleeping often because then we feel unproductive and then that makes us feel often worthless because our society really says that if you're productive then you're worth it, but that's just not true. Often when we're very anxious like you are it can be a constant stress on your body um, to be in that constant fight or flight mode and so being tired a lot is very common not to mention that sleeping is a coping mechanism it's a way to just escape from the issues that you are dealing with or those feelings that you're feeling so do not feel guilty at all see. Yikes. How is your concentration lately? Mm, not sure. Yeah, that is a hard one to answer, I would say. Are you often distracted or lost in thought? Yes. Okay. Well, there. So that's a good one there. So are these thoughts, um, like, random, or are they about just certain things during the day, or are they from your past, or things that you're guilty about? They are, okay. Sorry, sometimes these things can be overwhelming. Yeah. Well, this is definitely giving me insight here, um, How would you rate your your basic mood on a scale of 1 to 10? Really? Okay. Wow, that's not good. Okay. Irritable? Tense? Mm -hmm. I would be too. If I was in your situation, I would be too. Do not feel ashamed by that. Just a few things I need to check here. I know this seems more like a doctor's appointment at the moment, but <laughs> it's all part of making sure that it is a curse and not something else, because otherwise I can't continue with the curse process. So I'm going to excuse my raincoat, it is for my protection from the curse just in case.
just searching your body here to see. Hmm. But it may be well concealed. It depends on whoever cursed you. Uh, depends on their uh, magical abilities. Let's take a look with my glasses here. These are specialty. And wow, okay. My goodness, you are radiating with cursed energy. This is not a good situation. Okay. Wow. Um, it seems it has been plaguing you for a while, and because of this, it is taking you over. It may have started in your chest or in your throat, but it is starting to expand, and it is just emanating off of you, and this is not good, but it means that it may be in its final stages. Don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. I can still fix this. I do need to make sure what sort of curse this is. There are different types of curses and different spells to dispel them. So I'm just going to check your heartbeat real quick. just to relax you. <laughs> mm. Fluttering. Just going to check right here. Okay, let's take another deep breath in just to relax ourselves. <sighs> okay, yep. So, I do detect some flutters. going to check your throat here. I'm just going to place my hands on it and feel around for any bumps or anything to see if the curse is in any specific place. And while I do that, I'm just going to ask you a few questions so I can help identify this curse. Um, all right. Do you have a favorite food by chance? Okay. Has that always been your favorite food, or has it been very recent that it's changed? Really? Hmm, interesting. What about your favorite color? This is a serious question. Okay. And again, has that always been your favorite color, or is that new? Mm hmm. I don't feel any lumps around your... Sorry, I stepped on something. <laughs> I don't feel any lumps around your neck or throat. Uh, there is tension around your jaw, though. I may need to check your face. Just feel around to make sure everything's okay. Do you have a favorite animal? This is serious. Has that always been your favorite animal? Or is that new? Okay. What about a favorite smell? Okay. Has that always been your favorite smell? Okay, is that linked to a memory as to why it's your favorite smell? Or is it just objectively a nice smell to you? Really? Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Your 
face again seems tense, but I understand. Okay. Don't worry, we're gonna get rid of this based on your answers. You're definitely cursed. I mean, obviously we can see some energy here, but I think I have uh, been able to discern exactly which curse it is based on your answers. So, good news and bad news. Bad news, this curse is in its ending stages. What it does is it takes our natural anxiety, which is good to have, you know, as humans we need to worry about things, but it takes our natural uh, anxiety and it causes it to manifest and to explode into something that is absolutely devastating for your life. And it will not stop until it breaks you. So, what we're going to do is we are going to pull it from your body and put it into something else so that something else can be broken. It's an easy process, I promise you. First things first, I need you to drink this because you're dehydrated. This has nothing to do with the curse, but I can tell from your worry lines and these eye bags, you are dehydrated. So go ahead, take that. Take a drink. Go ahead. I want to see you take a sip. Good. Next. You need to calm down a little bit. Yes. It's going to be okay. All right. Shh. It's going to be okay. You aren't going to feel like this for very much longer. I have brought you homemade cookies. several here. I'll have a bite myself just to show you it's not poisoned. Mm. Very good. There's several in there for you. Please enjoy those while we go along our journey here. I'm gonna have a drink of my water. This is serious business, so I need to be ready. All right. First things first. This specific smell here is a smell that the curse is. Uh, the curse has an aversion to this spell, let's say that. So let's light this candle. doesn't it? I've used this quite a lot. Would you know that this is actually a pretty easy curse to put on someone? Terrible, isn't it? Anyone who has the dark book that has the curse in it, it really takes a low-level magician to be able to uh, curse someone with it. need to look up really quick <clears throat> my spell book. The anti-curse words. I believe it is Latin in nature. Let's see here. Aha. Uh -huh. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Alright. 
just relax for a moment here. Dom spiro. Spero. Dom spiro. Spero. Excuse my pronunciations. Dom spiro. Spero. Dom spiro. Spero. Spero, spero. Dum, spero, spero. Dum, spero, spero. Dum, spero, spero. Dum, spero, spero. seems to be locating itself right here on your chest we've located it and now that we've located it I have one more enchantment let's see it's for to our guide here okay bear with me this is all part of the process
dollars into. is inside of this stick and it will not stop until this stick is broken so just like that the curse dissipates into the air <laughs> all better how are you feeling? for that. Uh, can be a bit odd to the normal magician that doesn't have any, you know, anything to do with curses, but understand that because the curse did inhabit you for a while, that these feelings may uh, subside over the coming weeks, but as you can tell, it is so much lighter and you feel much better. And that pressure in your chest breathing freely, right? Go ahead and try it out. How'd that feel? Inhale. Feel how light and airy your chest is, how unburdened you are. And as you breathe out, you are breathing out all of that negative energy, all of those negative anxious feelings. I'm so glad that I was able to help you. So glad. You have a wonderful day. And I'm gonna get back to break bells because I'm on the clock. Call me back anytime.